How does a mini Korg work? I'll tell you, it doesn't have the normal controls because they hadn't been fully established. Because Bob Moog had his controls kind of set, but Korg was still doing their own thing. Expand, bright, sustain, bender, repeat, you know. Some of the terms, you know, make sense. Others take a little explanation. Especially the traveler singing percussion. So, where do we begin? Right now, the only thing that's on is sustain. Okay. Sustain does kind of what you'd expect, but watch this. Sustain doesn't allow refiring of the envelope. If you hold the note down. If you release it, that's okay. But you can get into some weird states. I mean, you might want that effect. You just have to be aware of what's going to happen. When sustain is off, now this is a high priority keyboard, so if you hold a note, low notes don't sound. square by the way. So that's that's sustain. Bender. Bender's a little strange. It just scoops in, which which actually sounds pretty cool unless you have like repeat on with the bender. Then it can get a little weird. Although kind of neat too. But I like it better with it off. That's what you have in form of an arpeggiator. So you put it on bender. And then you hit the filter. Now if you have sustain on, you kind of lose your bend. So don't do that or you lose your repeat, I mean, because it's sustaining the note too much. Let's hear it sweep. So repeat, it is, it is good, it's a good sound. It's a classic, it's a classic sound. Vibrato is quite simple on this speed and depth, uh, delay vibrato. There's no control over when the delay comes in. We already showed uh, portamento and there's a portamento speed, so you can go pretty crazy on portamento. It's a nice portamento. Oh, one thing you don't want to do is, uh, what was it? It's like vibrato and portamento. I mean, you might want to do it, but here's what you get. The, the, the breaks, the vibrato effect on the portamento. I mean, you might be able to find a way to, you know, kind of go with theremin on it. Yeah, <laughs> you might like that actually. And if you play legato with the portamento on, I mean, it's it sounds like you're using a ribbon controller when you're not, and that's kind of cool actually.
just keep legato because if you fall off one of those keys then it breaks the spell. Yeah, so the ribbon controller uh, emulation is really good on this, frankly. All right. So we've covered almost everything. Now, bright and expand. You just have to hear what they do. Now that did nothing. Frankly, so let's. So I changed the filter so you could hear its effect. So, not so much. Depends a lot on the settings. It's, uh, it's subtle, it's hard to get dialed in, maybe it's a, uh, could be better on different waveforms. You can definitely hear it on triangle. This can get into states like right now. Why don't I hear anything, right? Or it's so quiet. Um, the filter is usually the culprit. Bright's a tough one. Maybe affected by these. Let's find out. I don't think these are affecting it. These are more about envelopes, and we'll get to that in a moment. Expand. Let's find out what it does. Expand applies a filter. A fixed filter, I think it's fixed, or not, sorry, not a filter, it applies an envelope to the filter. It's not a fixed envelope, so forget almost half of what I said there. Expand applies a controllable envelope to the filter, and it's controlled with these two knobs. Now, these are not the names of the knobs. These are the effect of the knobs at the different positions. So this is a fast attack. That's a slow attack. Singing. Versus percussion. So very sharp attack and release or uh, almost no no decay on it it's basically no decay control anywhere really it is a nice keyboard by the way it's fast it's responsive
and the filter works really well. Almost too well sometimes. Now that's bright plus expand. And that's adding sustain. And that's with Bender. Don't know about that one. And that's with delayed vibrato thrown in. So you can get some pretty funky sounds out of this. So I've covered everything now, except the Traveler. I can't explain it very well. I mean, obviously it is the filter. Exactly why I've got two knobs. Well, it depends on how you use them. Depends on waveforms. So we've got high and low settings. So obviously this is, uh, you know, I'm adjusting the cutoff on a low pass filter here. filter for sure because if I set it all the way over switch to a high octave plays fine but then if I go to the lowest it really kills it and you can hear in this extreme position that's definitely a acting as a high pass filter. It is a resonant filter. So ultimately, even though we don't have the traditional envelope controls on it, by, by the names we know them today, it has them. Uh, maybe not all of them. Like I said, it doesn't seem to really have a decay. Um, actually, it doesn't really have a sustain. The only sustain is this one switch that just lets the notes stay on for a while longer. But it's great sounding synth. It's 
pretty versatile. Um, you're going to have a hard time if you wanted to get it on MIDI. I think that's a problem. But I think people have done it. Um, you'd have to look around because, as I said, it's not it's not Volts per octave. It's, it's different. Uh, and there's a couple of different kits out there that do various things uh, allowing controls of it. Oh, one other control. So the pitch control, you know, it's it's nominally for tuning. Its range I have figured out to be about um gosh, it's it's more than a whole step. Well, it's really close to a whole step. <laughs> You'd have to, you can measure a little more scientifically than what I was just doing. But it's about a whole step. But you can bend it while you're playing. So, you know, it's, it's just a, a very limited pitch wheel, but a lot of times you don't want too much pitch wheel going on anyway. So it gives you, you know, some, some nice pitch wheel control. All right, so why did I open this up? It was the test simple repair of this switch. It just had a dirty contact. It wasn't always properly uh, switching over to 32 foot, but it is now. So I'm going to put this back together again, and some lucky person is going to buy it. <laughs>